Here we are at the Nashville Zoo. Today's an adventure. Right, so the white face gibbon is actually a lesser ape and not a monkey at all. So for science, I'm gonna try to exhibit uh, aggression towards the great apes and see if I can make them feel threatened to throw poo in the direction of the crowd. So this is what I'll do. Go ahead. All right, throw poo, little monkey, throw poo. Oh, here it is, sir. So for all of you who are confused about the difference between a monkey and an ape, the difference is, is that a monkey has a tail and an ape has no tail. Right, if you look down there, they sleep like mommy, so that way they stay nice and cool. Now we're about to see the elusive cougar. I've spotted a cougar. <laughs> I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. <laughs> So the last lemur was not actually King Julian, but this one is. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. This is Gally Fit. This is Gally Fit. This is Gally Fit. This is Gally Fit. The American Gator. I'm embarrassed to say I ain't your cousin, mate. My word, the kangaroo pit. The sound of the didgeridoo and the boomerangs on the wall. It looks like Dr. John William has found his home. And so the kangaroo is known as the natural boxer of the animal world. As a matter of fact, in 1898, John P. Sullivan lost the title against a kangaroo. Hello, fella. Now, forward-thinking police departments around the world have been trading in their canine units for kangaroo units because of their natural boxing abilities and their speed. So if you look at the size of their hands, that's what makes them such natural boxers, almost like the Muhammad Ali of the predator world. That's it. 
Was... Right, you can hear the call of the lesser apes right now in their native environment. Right now in Tennessee, it's literally almost Africa hot. So you'll be able to see the rhinos doing what they would do if they were out in the wild in their home environment that's laying around in the, the hot sun. A little known fact about the rhinos is that there's such a, a, a large a trade of their horns on the black market that there's actually an act, the Endangered Species Act, which was agreed to by most of the world to stop people from trading their horns and the poachers from killing them for the horns. From the wild, over in Africa, the birds will often sit on the backs of the rhinos and so that way they're getting the protection of being on these huge beasts while at the same time they feast upon the bugs that drive the rhinos crazy. So here again is another African species. This is the river hog and they're laying there behind us because again in the heat here in Tennessee it's almost equivalent to what it would be in their hometown, uh, the homeland of Africa. So they're just laying there conserving energy. to Monel's, which is actually a converted plantation that is now a restaurant where they dine family style. And when you take a look here, everyone sits down like one big family and all this food comes out in this historic setting. Here's our new friends that we met down here. <laughs> Table's full. Now we're on our way to the Grand Old Opry legendary place of old. Enormous covered walkway. We're on at least our third mile. Finally, we've made it through the pouring rain and at the Grand Ole Opry.
I'm here during intermission at the Grand Old Opry. The beer lines are long, almost as long as the bathroom lines, but what a show.